Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 21st, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So link is down below. You're very welcome. So the day has been um, a very up and down day. It has, uh, of course, been affected by the negotiation, the, the stimulus negotiations, and um, we broke down quite significantly. We were down nearly, nearly 1%, roughly 1.1%. And at the end of the session, everything basically turned around. So NASDAQ, Dow Jones, S&P, pull back significantly uh, at the end of the session. And that is a sign that we are not going to break down like this. That is not what we're seeing here. Uh, market knows that we are going to see a solution to the stimulus talks and that there is going to be extra liquidity pumped into this market and that will only make this market go higher. So at this point, we are still on the edge of being overbought. Technical indicators are, for example, the stochastic are still bullish. Uh, the MACD is turning around and it goes into the signal line. So it will also become bullish. And uh, the CCI is more bearish at this point. But the RSI is still bullish. So as long as this is the case, as long as the 20 exponential is basically holding, then it's basically buy on the dips. The closer that we get to the 20, uh, that's roughly 3,660 at this point, uh, the more you basically can buy of this. Um, so the target is 3,800, um, and that will most likely happen within the next few weeks. There's not going to be a lot of trading next week because it is Christmas, and um, yes, that's why. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Very similar here. We broke down nearly to the worst the 20 exponential moving average and then pulled back. So um, at this stage, we are not overbought the technical indicators for example stochastic is still bullish macd is bearish and the cci is becoming bearish so as long as the 20 exponential is holding we're just going to trade sideways and at some point we are going to get uh, the green signal and then we're just going to head towards 31,000. no reason to sell this at the point this all of this underneath here is supportive if we manage to break to do it towards the 20, then we have the 40, then the 50, then the 100. So the lower we get, the more you basically can buy of the Dow Jones. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So we broke down quite significantly. We were down roughly 1.5% and then pulled back quite significantly. We're trading now again above 12,700. And at this stage, uh, we are not overbought. We are on the edge. Technical indicators are bullish. It is just pullbacks are buying opportunities. And uh, the market knows that there is going to be a solution to the stimulus negotiation. And uh, the closer we get to the 20, the more you basically can buy of this. The target is at this point is 13,000, 14,000, and also 15,000, probably in the next uh, month or two probably three if you talk about 15,000. But the 20 is the bottom of this market. The lower, the closer that we get to that, the more you can basically buy this. So let's look at the tech stocks. So Netflix has broken that, broke down quite significantly and then rallied again. And now we ended up in positive territory. We are overbought. So a pullback towards the 20, it is... Uh, probably the best thing that could happen for the stock because then you can basically buy it cheaper and then you can go higher and you can make money off of it. But at this point, it's too risky to buy it. It can plummet at any point, uh, even though the technical indicators are very bullish. It needs a pullback towards the 20 in order to buy this to the upside. So let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft fell really aggressively towards the 20 exponential and then rallied again. We're down nearly half a percent, but we were down roughly 1.67% today. So um, at this point, the technical indicators are still very bullish. 
mostly all of them, by, despite not the CCI at this point, but other indicators are very bullish. So this is a stock that is most likely going to rally higher. And when stimulus uh, negotiations are over, it will rally significantly higher. Apple, as expected, fell quite drastically, and it's probably one of the main reasons why the Nasdaq also fell quite heavily today. Um, that's because uh, of Apple and uh, also of Google. So Apple fell 1.59% uh, and uh, did not pull much back. I think that we're getting heading towards the 20 exponential, uh, roughly at uh, $123 before we go significantly higher. We are in the edge of being our bot. These technical indicators are turning around. So a, pull, a little bit of a more pullback, that is a buying opportunity for uh, 129 and beyond that. Amazon down 1% at this stage. It was down roughly 1.3%, uh, but we found support here at the 20 exponential. And uh, at this point, I think that we're just going to set, this basically is setting up to for the stock to go significantly higher. There is a barrier here that we need to get through. That's roughly at uh, 3,261. That will lead to uh, these highs and then to these highs and the very highs. And that is basically where we are going at this point. So that's an increase of roughly 11.7% or 370 point dollar increase. Technical indicators are looking, well, fairly bullish. MACD, stochastic, and also the, no, nothing left. So RSI is basically flat and stochastic. No, CCI is also turning around becoming actually bearish at this point but i will basically buy into this um i don't expect this to fall further this is going to rally significantly higher tesla was well how do you say it we're at the edge of 700 dollars a share for tesla stock so it is um what do you can say about this uh, it just continue increasing this is um this is probably the most popular stock out there every single time it gets close to the 20 exponential just buy as much of this as humanly possible because it will go higher it doesn't matter if we're uh or we are oversold or bought whatsoever technical indicators don't really work for the tesla stock most of the time so you can look at the bullinger band that is probably the only indicator that you that is very reliable for tesla stock when we get significantly outside of the parameter here, it usually it usually is a sign that we're going to have a pullback. Otherwise, well, people don't care if it's all bought, overvalued, and so on. But a pullback towards the twenty that is a buying opportunity. At this point, it is is significantly overbought. So I will wait for a little bit of a pullback. Facebook, the hundred moving average is the floor in this market. There's no other way to say this. Every time you get close to the 100 moving average, you can just, well, um, take your truck and buy as much uh, uh, Facebook stock as possible because it will rally from the 100 moving average. If the 100 breaks, it will open the door to the 150. But we have tested the 100 so often. Usually when we test it so often, it usually is just a matter of time before we rally significantly to the upside. And that's where we are heading. We're heading towards these highs of roughly 304. And that's a roughly 11.5% increase in the next uh, few weeks. So Google fell all the way down towards the, uh, the 40 exponential and then rallied a little bit. We are trading just above uh, at the 40 exponential. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for Google stock. I was expecting this to basically hold. It is holding, but the 50 will most likely be where this is going, and then it will turn around. So um, this is just an opportunity to buy Google cheap. There's a lot of negative news about Google, therefore it's dropping. Uh, but this is a company that will continue growing. It has enormous amount of money. It's not going anywhere. And therefore, in the future, it will also... Uh, the stock will also increase. So it's just a matter of buying it as cheap as possible. But uh, if the 50 breaks, then watch out below. We're heading towards the 100 moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and...
Uh, good weekend. Thank you.